This is section 11.3, part one, where we're talking about the lateral area and surface area of pyramids and cones. Okay, we've talked about pyramids a little bit <coughs> and cones. The difference between a pyramid and a prism is the fact that a pyramid only has one base. Okay, and you're going to deal with three bases in terms of pyramids. You're going to have a square pyramid base. You're going to have a triangular pyramid base, and you're going to have a rectangular uh, pyramid which, with, a, with a base of a rectangle. Okay, So as we look at some things here to discuss here, um, you, uh, you name a pyramid by the shape of its base. And in this case, I told you the three shapes of the bases that we're going to be dealing with are rectangles, squares, and triangles. The altitude of a pyramid is the perpendicular segment from the vertex in other words, from the sharp point at the top to the base, okay, to the plane of the base. Now, that's actually the length of the, uh, the altitude is the height of the pyramid. But when we're dealing with pyramids, we're not going to deal with the height. We're not going to use the height in our formulas, okay. What we're going to use is what we call the slant height. The slant height is the length of the altitude of a lateral face of the pyramid. So in other words, as you see from this picture right here, the slant height is the height from the right or left side, could have been the front or back, to the top sharp point. So the slant height is different. And you'll notice as you look inside of the square pyramid here that you see a triangle when you use the height here across to the base to the slant height and you're going to be using that a little bit there are going to be some things on pyramids that you're going to have to find okay so again you should have your note sheet out here your your formula sheet i'm sorry and we've got two things two formulas that you need to add to your uh formula sheet that's the triangular pyramid and a rectangle or square pyramid the formulas for rectangle square are going to be the same so in here, to find the lateral area, you're going to add the sides of the square, the bottom square, times it by the slant height. Now, remember, the slant height in the formula, if you look at it, is L. That's the slant height. That's what that stands for, is L. And then we're going to divide it by 2 to find the lateral area. Now, to find the surface area, we're going to take the lateral area and add it to the area of the bottom square, or rectangle, which is base times height. Okay, lateral area still is the sides of the pyramid. Okay, the surface area is the sides plus the one base on the bottom. Now, triangular pyramid, a little bit different. Triangular pyramid, we're going to add the sides of the bottom triangle, times that by the slant height, and then divide it by two. And then when we find the surface area, we take the lateral area plus the area of the bottom triangle, which is base times height divided by two. All right, so let's take a look here at, you've got two examples here. You've got, we're going to start with number two. Okay, so we're going to start with number two here. And we're going to look at this one first. All right, so on number two, we've got to find the lateral area. On these, you're not going to, you're not going to need to draw the bases again. So again, lateral area is... I'm going to add the sides, in this case, you'll see the square on the bottom. The four sides of the square on the bottom are 5 and 5 and 5 and 5. Now, it's not always going to be a square, so they could be different numbers. Um, okay, then we're going to take that times the slant height. Now, the slant height is right here, which is the 6 meters. So, essentially, this is 20 times 6, which is 120 meters squared for the lateral area. Now, the surface area is the lateral area plus, in this case, I've got a square as my, a 5 by 5 square as my base shape. So I'm going to take the base, which is 5, times the height, which is 5. So essentially, this is 120 plus 25, which is 145 meters squared. Okay, so your cone and your pyramids are going to be a little bit smaller in terms of areas. Okay, let's take a look at the second one. Now you'll notice on the second one, the second one is missing something here. Okay, you notice the second one does not give us 
the slant height. It gives us the height of the pyramid. Well, we're not going to use the height of the pyramid here to help us with anything. So I'm going to take this yellow triangle here uh, and, and move it out. And we got to figure out the length here. We need, to, we need to know the slant height. You'll notice that the distance across the whole bottom here is 30 meters. Well, from the center to the outside is going to cut that in half. So this is 15. This little guy right here is 15 meters. And we know that the height is 36.4. So how would I find the slant height? Well, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. So 36.4 squared plus 15 squared equals c squared. Okay. So now once I figure that out, I'm going to be able to find the slant height. So when I take 36 squared and when I take... 15 squared, add them together, and take the square root I get 1549.9 is c squared. If I take the square root of that number, it gives me 39.4. So the slant height right here is 39.4, okay? So now I can find my lateral area and my surface area. So lateral area is add up the sides of the base. Again, the base is a square, 30 by 30. So I'm going to add that up, 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 times that by the slant height of 39.4. Now this is going to be a pretty large number. And then we're going to divide that in half. Okay, so when I calculate this, when I take 30 plus 30 plus 30 times 39.4, I end up with 4,000... 728 divided by 2, which I get for a lateral area of 2,364 meters squared. Okay, so now I got to find the surface area. Well, the surface area is equal to, I'm going to take the lateral area of 2,364, add it to my base and height, which is 30 times 30. 30 times 30 is 900. So I've got 2364 plus 900. That's going to be my total surface area, which is 3,264 meters squared. So my surface area here and my lateral area here. Now, Let's go back and take a look at this first example that I went through. See if anybody caught this. There's a mistake in here. What did I forget to do? Well, if you look at the lateral area, I forgot to take the lateral area and divide it in half. So really, when I'm finding this, the lateral area is 120 divided by 2, which is 60. So this is 60 meters squared. So now I'm going to take 60, not 120, plus 5 times 5. 60 and 25, that's going to be 85 meters squared. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now cones are, the, are very similar. And as you can tell, I've already written the formula here for the two cones, lateral area and surface area, how to find them. Okay, and I'm just going to go through these two examples. Uh, again, they have altitudes, they have slant heights, the same kind of concept here. All right, so let's take a look here at, well, we're going to start with uh, number three. Let's start with this one. So we're going to go lateral area is, again, I'm going to take pi times the radius times the slant height. Pi RL, okay? When I multiply those three things together, I end up with 
0.1 centimeters squared. Okay, so now I find the surface area. That's going to be the lateral area plus pi r squared. In this case, pi r is 15 squared. Well, 15 squared times pi is 706.9. When I add those two together, I end up with 1,885 point, or 1,885 exactly centimeters squared. Okay. So again, the formulas are a little bit different for the cone, but it's the same process. Now, you'll notice on number four, as we look here at number four, that we don't have a slant height. Well, we're going to have to figure that out. So again, you've got a, tri a right triangle there. Okay. I know that this distance is five. The height is five. I know that this distance is half of four, which is two. Okay. Again, I can use Pythagorean theorem. When I use Pythagorean theorem, I get 29. And when I take the square root of that, I get 5.4. So the slant height is 5.4. You're going to have to do this a little bit with some triangles. So lateral area is pi times the radius times the slant height of 5.4. Again, when I multiply those three things together, I get 33.9 feet squared. Now the surface area is the 33.9 plus pi times the radius squared, which pi r squared, or pi r squared there, 33.9 plus 12.6, and when I add those together, I get 46.5, in this case, feet squared for the surface area. Okay, so, section 11.3, part 1, talks about finding the surface area lateral areas of pyramids and cones. Don't forget to complete your WSQ.